All right, so one of the things that's not really covered enough in this hobby is recycling and kind of disposal of electronics once they get to that point where you know you can't fix them anymore. And maybe you're like me and you end up in a situation where you just do not have the room to keep every single thing. So I just went through and organized a bunch of stuff in this section of the uh, shop. And then I've also gone down into the CRT bunker and cleared out a lot of things from there. So I have some things now that I've found that there's really no purpose for me to keep and hold on to uh, because I need space. And these parts and things are just useless to me at this point. And rather than simply throwing them in the landfill in the dump, I'm gonna show you another way to get rid of all this stuff and actually get a little money back. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, one thing that really can get you a good amount of money is copper wiring. And this is all just scrap copper wiring from busted CRTs and PVMs. And what you'll notice is there's these big hunks of metal right here, and this is just super thick copper wiring. And it's actually from the degaussing coil that is on the CRTs. And uh, so what happens is, is the CRTs actually break. And you know, you've seen that in shipping videos. And for whatever reason, you end up with extra cabling. A lot of this is just completely extra cabling that I don't have any use for. Um, every time a CRT comes to the shop or I buy one, it comes with all the cabling already. And so I have so much extra of this that eventually I have to go through. And after I scrap a few monitors, I have to scrap some of this cabling in the process. So there's just a ton of this copper cabling, about a half of this box full. And it's got this huge reel of old wire that's really thick that I think somebody gave to me for uh, a dog fence or something a long time ago. I never installed it. I'm tired of it being in the shop and it's heavy duty. So it should bring a couple bucks. This other stuff, this is just some stuff going to Goodwill. Yeah, I'm giving some things back, even some retro appliances here. <laughs> no, popcorn popper. I uh, don't have space for that. And I'll also get rid of my regular recycling here. I don't get any money for either of these items, but still that's a good way to clean out things. Now I also have some shielding in here from busted PVMs. Again, there's no reason for me to keep all this shielding. It's super heavy. It's all metal. It's in there. There's also some shielding from other boards and uh, just stuff that's been scrapped off monitors and all the cabling that would normally be on these is stripped off of it like those degaussing coils and everything it's all cut off of these so that it can be separated and hopefully uh, we'll get a little bit of money for this and more for the cabling and then down here i have a bunch of just scrap metal rack mount things that are completely dead and useless also unfortunately they're just no use for them uh, so outdated technology it's synchronization panels that are just nothing so they're going there and then oh yeah my uh, beer cans and first we're gonna see how it goes up here at the metal recycling place because they do act a bit sketchy so I will probably not be able to go and record as I go in there I do believe it's because people steal metals <clears throat> And then obviously try to sell them to places like this to get drug money. So um, I understand their reluctancy around anybody or anything that's dodgy. But we're about to pull up to there and we'll see how we come out and then we'll go to the dump. All right, we're rolling up there now. Let's see what happens when we get in here. And... All right, so we made it through over at the uh, recycler where they will pay you money for scrap metal and woo, we broke records I finally crushed a uh, standard that I had put or a goal and we'll talk about that after we get done up here at the recyclers but we're about to pull in over here very nice flowers going in here at the recycling center and we'll get rid of the stuff that we can't sell which is just honestly my household glass and some cardboard. Let's get pulled in here and get rid of the rest of this stuff. Cause we gotta reduce, reuse, recycle, baby. Well, I've got a box of glass here. 
Let's get this out of here. All right, great news. Check this out. Our bin is completely empty, so we've been able to get rid of all that stuff and recycle every bit of everything you saw in today's video. All right, now that that's over with, let's take a quick look at my totals on how much I got paid by the recyclers. First off, that big bag of aluminum cans you saw, that was eight pounds, and here you get 25 cents per pound, so I got a whopping $2 for that bag of cans. All right, so next I wanna talk about the big, basically scrap metal things, which were those old rack mount pieces, as well as all the scrap shielding from the CRTs. Believe it or not, that weighed 69 pounds. Of course, 69 pounds. So we actually ended up getting $5.86 for those 69 pounds of scrap metal. Now, the next thing was that box of wiring and wiring harness stuff and um, all the innards from the electronics and CRTs. And that actually had gone up uh, from the last time I was there. They were paying $1.10 a pound of that. And our box weighed in at seven pounds. So we got $7.70 for just that box of scrap wiring. And then finally, uh, there was that big spool of wire, which is actually Cat5 wire, it says on here. 50 cents a pound, nine pounds of that at $4.50 for the total there giving us a grand whopping total of $20.06. So the standard I had set before this was $20. I never thought I would get over $20 from just a little scrap run here, but hey, we did, so that's awesome. Maybe next time we could try to get $25, but that's kind of a normal thing. If you're gonna be using these electronics, don't always think of things as trash. If you cannot reuse the part, then, save it up pile it up and recycle it and if it's something that's got metal in it then it's actually valuable now like i said the glass stuff is nothing that really is uh, worth any money in my area so i just take that to the normal recyclers as well as anything plastic but what about crts there are still two more things that you could recycle that I did not today, but I do not recycle these items unless I absolutely have to. First being the deflection yoke, one of these right here. You see this? Look how much copper is in that. So you could get a lot of money for this. I mean, not a lot of money, but a couple bucks back for every one of these. But if these are still good and uh, have the right induction, then they should be saved. Uh, now there are times when these can be busted, like they'll have a severed line in here or something then it's fine to recycle them but until then you should probably save these because these are not easy to find anymore and then finally of course there are crts themselves and i'm talking about the actual tubes here um, again if these are in any kind of working condition even if there's a slight screen burn in them i try to keep them because there are instances where a color can go out completely on these things and then basically the tube is useless. So uh, this is something that should be kept around or properly disposed of. And I'm not really gonna get into that into this video. Maybe in a future episode we'll do that. But you should definitely try to keep these as long as possible if you're able to. All right, everybody, I thank you for joining me on this special, interesting look at how the recycling process goes for old electronics. Again, you could apply this to anything, not just CRTs. But CRTs specifically, that's what we do here, and that's what we got rid of today. So uh, let me know what you think with a comment below. Have you ever recycled anything? Have you ever gotten paid uh, for recycling anything like this? And what's your highest total? How much have you gotten? How many pounds of scrap have you taken in? And what's your biggest payday? But thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.